Hello you guys and welcome back to Stampaholics Anonymous. Today we are finally going to take a look at the new Catrice Icon Nail, Icon Nail, Frickadick, uh, Icon Nail um, uh, polishes that are coming out. Uh, I am still not sure if Catrice is replacing uh, their old formulation with this. It looks like that because pretty much all of the display nowadays is these polishes and everything else, you know, on, on, in the old um, in the old round bottles like this is being clearance out and most places don't even have those anymore uh, and these icon nails are coming in but they are marketing them as a limited edition on their website I don't know what's going on anyways we are going to take a look at 10 shades because that's all I was uh, I don't know um, yeah that, that's the number of shades I picked up they have like 45 or something and some of them are really similar there are a lot of nudes a lot of reds in there so I didn't pick up all of them of course not you know I don't want to ruin myself I, I just want to spend my money on indie polishes and stamping plates so I didn't spend all my money at the drugstore buying Catrice polishes polish half ha Anyways, I bought 10 uh, over the course of a couple of weeks. Uh, the first one I picked up was this one, and I showed you that in a drugstore haul I did a while back. It's called Mermaid Day Mayday, and I've used it in a swatch video, I think, before. Um, and I just bought one at that time because I thought, meh, I don't know, there are creams, the colors don't really speak to me. Let's just try it out. And I was raving about this formula as soon as I pulled open that professional cap that these uh, and saw the wand and put the formula on my nail uh, I was blown away so naturally I had to go back for more let me show you the wand it is this like nice flat wand and when you use it it flattens itself out even more which means that with this one size I can pretty much do my pinky in one stroke perfect anyway so I had to go back and buy more uh, and there was like uh, an elusive two pack, a two pack, not an elusive like buy one get one free deal floating around supposedly coming to a drugstore near me and over the course of one week I kept going to all of the drugstores around me like a crazy woman uh, and ended up you know just basically picking up one or two of these polishes because they didn't have the two pack, they didn't have the, you know the little box set um, but you know what can you do? So I have 10 polishes for you today. Most of them are creams, uh, with the exception of these two. Um, you probably know already why I picked up this one, right? Right? It's rose gold, right? Um, and then this one is the other, the only other, I think, uh, polish that is not a straight up cream. And we're going to be looking at all of these uh, polishes today. I'm going to be swatching them on my nail so you can get a good look at this new formulation. It's supposed to have, well, let's check, maybe it says somewhere on here. No, it doesn't. Um, acai oil in there. Um, I don't know what that does for you, but... It, yeah, well. Who knows? And it also claims to last up to seven eyes without top coat. I sincerely doubt that, but I'm not about to test this because I'm not gonna leave on one of these colors for seven days. Not gonna happen, just not. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna get into the swatches so you can see how these puppies apply. Alrighty, let's get into these swatches. By the way, I'm going by um, the numbers that are on the bottle. So I'm starting off with number two called the Bloody Mary. And spoiler alert, I'm probably going to sound like a broken record because all of these formulas are exactly the same and they work perfectly every time. Most of these polishes, I will show you two coats. Did you just see how I was able to do one nail and two strokes? Did you just see that? And that's going to be the same for all of these polishes. Moving on to go for gold, the rose gold one. I didn't really see this as like regular gold. And guess what? It's a one coater. <laughs> so I'm only going to show you one coat of this because it's that awesome. Next 
next step is Mermaidy Mayday, the first color that, you know, sucked me into this whole icon nails world. And as you can see, the, the, bl uh, the brush uh, flattens itself really nicely against your nails so that basically you need just two strokes to cover your whole nail. And also this one is good in two coats. And that shininess you're seeing here while it's still wet, that pretty much stays that way even after it's dry. Next up is Mint Map. You gotta love the Polish names that Catrice comes up with. They've been doing that, you know, always, not just with this line. Um, their Polish names are always really, really funny. And I think that's kind of nice, you know, for a drugstore brand to come up with all these funny names. They must have a whole lot of funny. You know, I would love to work for Catrice. <laughs> Uh, and name polishes all day. That would be so lovely. And swatch polishes all day. Swatching and naming polishes all day. Isn't that heaven? Um, I haven't been talking about this polish because, like I said, broken record, perfect formula, two strokes, you're done. Shiny, gorgeous, juicy. <laughs> Next in line is this gray polish called Cloud9. It has a hunt, a hunt. It has a hint of like light purple in there. You're going to see that better in the swatch picture later on. So it's kind of intriguing. It's this warm, light gray color, gorgeous formula, gorgeous brush, easy application. You know, this is nail polish for dummies, basically. You know, if, if, if you've never polished your nails, you can do it with this kind of polish. Okay, nothing happened. Um, and that pretty much goes for this polish as well. I had really high hopes for this one. I thought it had some kind of a shift to it. It is this like purpley, pinky, silvery, metallic finish. And nah, I thought it would do more for me on the nails. The formula was awesome and it looked nice. And for being such a metallic finish, it wasn't so brush strokey as you might have thought. But the color overall, it just wasn't cutting it for me. Next up is Johnny Depp. I mean Johnny Deep, and I'm gonna spare you of any, you know, um, innuendos that that name could give you. This could have been a one coater, depending on your application, as you can see here. Uh, I'm gonna do two coats, um, even though on some nails you could call this a one coater. Next up, my new favorite black drugstore polish. This one is called the Black to the Roots. Funny name. And this one is a one coater. There's, there's nothing you can say against that. It just is a one coater. You got to figure out the right amount of polish to have on your brush. And then this is like, it works like a charm. And look how shiny it is. And it dries that shiny too. Um, so that you're, you know, good to go and have a, an awesome black base for any kind of nail art.
moving on to this berry shade. For the very first time, like a berry, get your polish on my nails. Okay, uh, enough with the Madonna uh, impersonation. Uh, this is an awesome berry shade. It needed two coats, but same awesome formula. Juicy, yummy, just delicious. Lovely. The wand is perfect. You know, I warned you I was going to sound like a broken record, and you just heard how broken that record sounded. <laughs> so this is uh, for the very first time, and it worked just aw um, as awesome as all the other um, polishes I've tried before. Last up in this little swatch video is Ready to Grape Off. This was the only polish that gave me a bit of trouble um, applying and formula wise, but I don't know, it, it might have been down to me being really tired after a long day of swatching polishes for you guys. Um, but still, the shade in itself is really lovely. This like deep, um, almost ox blood red is kind of gorgeous and I like the color outcome. guys i hope you enjoyed these swatches and i hope that this was helpful uh for you to see how awesome all of these swatched um my favorites are the four on the bottom here um the rose gold one which is called gold for gold um is my favorite because it's a one coater that was awesome then the um mermaid a mayday is just such a gorgeous teal color i love that and then you gotta love a good one coater black from the drugstore at a very affordable price and then it's so so shiny so this is like a good base color for all kinds of nail art that requires you know a black base so perfect this one if you can get your hands on this grab it and then i also like this berry shade i tend to like berry shades a lot um this one is called for the very first time uh and i really like this one um i had high hopes for the beetlejuice but nah, it didn't really deliver um yeah and then this last one the um what's it called ready to grape off i don't know i was having trouble with the formula maybe because it's getting late and i've swatched so many things um but over the board like over all of these polishes um the formula was awesome you saw um how well the, uh, they swatched and you saw how well you know the brush um like molds to your nails and th these polishes just technically apply themselves um they're good for you know if you're beginning and learning how to paint your nails these would be perfect because they're so easy to work with so that's uh my little review and swatchy swoo of these catrice damn it i can nails um polishes and i am um, i think that it, it th these are like well worth their money they're around three euros uh here in uh, germany and i think that's a very affordable price for such a good formula uh and you know such a good wand so easy to work with fun let me know down in the comments below whether you have tried these um uh, or if you're you know t planning on getting these now that you've seen them and uh, also let me know which of these colors was your favorite or if there are any other colors out there that you really like from this line and as always leave this video a, um, a quick little like if you thought it was helpful subscribe to my channel to see more reviews and um uh, tutorials and all that jazz in the future and yeah that's it for today's you guys thanks again for watching i will talk to you next time bye